Have you ever been in a conversation where people are trying to sound smart? Basically, you want to know the basics and uh, but that's not happening. So that conversation is totally useless. On this YouTube channel, that's what I try to do. I take a topic, I just talk about the basics of the basics and that's how I try to teach. In this video, I'm going to be talking about CICD basics. Like, you know, that might be like familiar to software engineers and DevOps engineers and whatnot to somebody who is beginning in this uh, in this DevOps world, that might be a new topic. So let's actually jump in and then learn about CICD basics. But first, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button, the like button and the bell icon. Then we can proceed to the lesson. You have like a set of requirements, you know, for building a new feature or like, you know, basically enhancing your software or you are fixing a bug in some cases. So basically you have a set of requirements which are written as stories. The stories get pulled into sprints. Sprints are just a time period. So in this sprint, we're basically doing this work. Now you have stories that get assigned to a certain software engineer. The software engineer goes to Git and then they find all the relevant repos and they pull the code into their local workstation. They're not going to work on the main branch of your repo, right? So they're going to like create a fork or maybe create a feature branch and then they, they basically pull the code. So they open up the code in IntelliJ, PyCharm or VS Code, the ID of your choice. And they're like, you basically start developing. When you're making changes, you're also running some tests. And once you're ready, you push the code to your remote repository. Then you just create a pull request to merge your changes to the, to the main branch of your repo. So you have a pull request and give it to your team members and then they will review the code changes and they will approve it. So once it is approved, it then gets merged into your main branch. And the merge actually triggers a, a continuous integration, a CI pipeline which is actually going to build, test and publish your code. So now what does that mean? So when, when you're, let's say, working on like a Java application, then the build stage is basically running Maven commands to create the jar file and then the jar file gets containerized and then it actually uh, gets published. You're, you'll have a new image for your service and then it gets published into your central repository. Now that image is ready to be consumed. So then you move on to the actual deployment stage and that's where actually the code gets deployed into the, the actual environment so first you deploy the code into like a dev environment you that's actually triggering another pipeline right and in that pipeline there might be some pre-validation stages there might be some post-validation stages there might be more fancy um you know integration tests running as part of post-validation more importantly it contains like a deployment stage where it the code is actually pushed into the infrastructure like that's where it actually gets deployed on a vm or a kubernetes cluster then you kind of like sit and monitor like you know your your changes you see like oh yeah so i made the changes to this api so let's see if the the clients are consuming this api are are they using this new feature you're basically you're doing some manual testing you're making sure everything is working properly and then the service is healthy and so on and then you push the changes to you know higher environments like test stage pre-prod whatever right so all these are higher environments like also needs those changes so finally it lands in the production environment you just let the automatic monitoring take care of things you might have alerts set up uh, you might have some dashboards these alerts will get triggered whenever your service is not healthy and then these when these alerts get triggered you might get pages and so on that's actually the sdlc the software development life cycle that's how it looks in most of the cases these days right like sometimes uh, a company might choose to just uh, go ahead and deploy the code as soon as you know somebody merges it right that's basically continuous deployment right so in this case there is a isolation between ci and cd somebody is manually deploying the code you know so this is how like a software gets developed 